Hey, I'm Rob, founder of Coifin. Today I'm thrilled to introduce our latest feature, Model Portfolios. You can now upload stocks, ETFs, and mutual funds, set their weights, and even adjust these weights from past dates. This ensures you consistently monitor your strategy's performance and risk composition. Designed specifically for financial advisors with client-centric models, model portfolios aim to simplify and enhance your tracking. Let me show you how it works. The model portfolio functionality is located on the left-hand menu under model portfolios. And this is the dashboard of model portfolios that I see here. I have two portfolios set up, value and growth. I see my performance metrics over certain time periods. I can also duplicate these portfolios instead of recreating one from scratch. So for example, if I wanted to duplicate the growth portfolio, I can right click here and create a copy and then customize it to however I want. The way that you analyze or look at a portfolio is by clicking on it. So if I were to click on the portfolio, I would then see my analytics, which I'll get to in a sec. Let me show you how to create a new portfolio before I get into the analytics. So I'm gonna create a pretty basic 60-40 portfolio comprised of 60% equities and 40% bonds. It's gonna be in US dollars. The initial value is gonna be 100,000. You do get to pick your benchmark here to run some of the analytics. And for benchmarks, you can pick a ETF or a mutual fund currently. Um, there are a ton of mutual funds that are diversified that you can pick as a benchmark or an ETF uh, that's a diversified ETF. In the future, we will allow you to import model portfolios as benchmarks, but currently you do have to list, you have to pick a listed ETF or mutual fund. I'm gonna pick SPY as my benchmark. You then have to pick your start date. And so my start date for the portfolio is January, 2013. The start date is important because that's where, that's the window that's used to calculate all the risk metrics. It's also the beginning of the portfolio. So you have to explicitly set the start date. And so I'm gonna set it 10 years ago at January, 2013. I'm gonna rebalance my weights quarterly. And so whatever rebalance I set, I'm gonna rebalance quarterly. And my annual advisor fee is gonna be 1%. And that's gonna be taken out every quarter as well. This is the section where I actually create my portfolio. So we do have a, a cash line item that's always here, but let me add SPY as my um, equity allocation. And let me add TLT as my bond allocation. I'm gonna make that 60% and 40%. I can also add a rebalance date. So let's say um, I started to change the portfolio and I got more aggressive in 2018. I would click on 2018 and it would give me an opportunity to add a different rebalance allocation. So here I would put 65 and here I would put 35. Uh, because I got more aggressive in my model portfolio allocation and you could add as many rebalance periods as you want. What this tells me is that my current allocation, we're sitting in September 2023, is this allocation, 6535. So this date is just the date where you set the previous allocation and then today's allocation is based on the latest date in your rebalance periods here. If you wanted to add a stock, for example, or an ETF or um, a closed end fund, you could do that as well. And let me show you what happens if you add something that didn't trade in one of your other periods. So I'm gonna add the ETF called YOLO, which was created, I believe, in 2019. And if I go to add a allocation here, I get an error message that, hey, this started trading in April 18, 2019. So I actually can't have a positive or a greater than zero allocation before that. If I did have another period, let's say on December 31st, 2019, and I wanted to allocate 3% of my shares to YOLO, I can do that because the ETF has already been trading, but then it, it tells me here, hey, I have 103% allocation, so I do have to take that out of here um, as well. You can also equal weight the distributions not including cash. And you could also put a positive value for cash. So for example, if I had a 5% cash allocation here and a 1% YOLO allocation, and then I have to take the rest from here at 59%, my allocation now is 100% and I'm set to create my portfolio. So let me create my portfolio called 6040, which used to be 6040, but now I changed it with uh, two other rebalances. 
Now I get into my performance and my analysis of the portfolio. So this is the summary tab. We have some key stats here, including the performance. So this is the performance of 6040 versus the benchmark, which is the SPY over the past 10 years. My 6040 portfolio has underperformed SPY, but that's not on a risk adjusted basis. That's on an absolute basis. And we have a pretty sizable bond allocation for for this portfolio so that makes sense that it's underperformed it also tells me my current weight because i do rebalance every year i believe as i said it the current the actual weights of the portfolio diverge from the target weight and on my next rebalance period or at my next rebalance period the target weight the current weight is going to be reset to the target weights but this gives me the difference between my current weight and the target weight and then a summary of how my allocation looks like in terms of SPY, TLT, and my other investments in my pottle portfolio. The performance chart gives you the performance of my investment. So if I click all here, um, I see here that SPY over the time period is up 279% and my 6040 portfolio is up 115%. You can also change this to represent rolling annual returns. So for example, if I wanted to look at the rolling one year period return, I could look at what it was versus um, my my benchmark, or if I wanted to look at it on a three year or five year annualized return period, I can do that as well. Next up, I can look at the historical returns. So I could see that on a historical return basis, my portfolio was up on different time frames, 10 year, five year, three year and shorter. And then we do give you the portfolio performance every single month since inception, as well as the annualized performance for the portfolio, for the benchmark, and the net performance of the portfolio to show what it looked like over those months. The last tab is the risk metrics tab, where we have a bunch of high level risk metrics for the portfolio and the benchmark. So I know that my annualized returns for the portfolio are 7.44%. The benchmark is 13.24%. The Sharpe ratio is 0.65. It's lower than the SPY, meaning that even on a risk adjusted basis, this portfolio is underperforming the benchmark slightly. So that's an area that I may want to explore and figure out why that's happening. The other section here looks at uh, drawdown from peak. So I get to see my uh, drawdown of the portfolio and I could see here that the most current drawdown, my portfolio and the benchmark went down about the same amount and my portfolio has not recovered as much as the benchmark, which makes sense because equities recovered much uh, quicker and much more rapidly than bonds have so far. Bonds have continued to sell off and that has impacted my 6040 portfolio, which hasn't done as well as equities from the current drawdown. We also show you the top drawdowns for them from the portfolio. So my top drawdown in this portfolio is 17.77% and I could see the other drawdowns as well. And lastly, I can see my uh, stress test. So during various periods for 2018, 2020, and 2022, I could see what the portfolio return did and the benchmark return did as well. If I go back to my dashboard and, and my um, home base for model portfolios, I can see that how this portfolio not compares versus other portfolios on different time frames. And let me delete this growth copy because I don't want to keep that. And now these are my other portfolios. You can create as many portfolios as you want and we'll give you the ability to upload CSV files and link to external accounts as well as enhanced functionality that we have on our roadmap. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Our email is help at Thanks very much and we hope that you enjoy this feature.